Hello everyone, I'm Leanne from Twinkle and welcome to my Humpty Dumpty experiment. As part of today's experiment, we are going to be looking at materials. Now, materials are all around us, everyday objects that we all use. Now, we have to remember what each material is made from. So, for example, if I was to show you this, my little ornamental penguin, what material do you think my penguin is made from? That's right, wood. That's a material. So what about if I was to show you this? What material is this bucket made from? Three, two, one, shout it out. Metal, absolutely right, well done, metal. What if I was to show you this material? What is this material made from? Paper, spot on, well done. And one more, just to make sure you know your materials, what do you think this material is made from? That's right, it's plastic. So, using all our knowledge of materials, we are going to do an experiment based on the classic story of Humpty Dumpty. So as we know, Humpty Dumpty had a great fall, didn't he? Poor Humpty Dumpty. And look, I've made my own little Humpty Dumpty ready. So what we have to do today, my little mini scientists, is we have to make a new crash mat for Humpty Dumpty because we don't want him to have a great fall and break. We want him to stay all together. So using all the different materials around us, I would like you to make a new crash mat for Humpty Dumpty. So I'm going to go off and get some materials to use for the experiment. If you would like to join in, why don't you go and have a look for some materials around you to make your own Humpty Dumpty crash mat. Off you go. These are the materials I have collected. Can you guess what they are? Did you manage to find some materials around you? That's great. If not, don't worry. You can just join in with me. So I have found some materials which I've just shown you. Now with some of those materials, I have made not one, not two, not three, but four different crash mats for Humpty Dumpty because I don't know which material is the best crash mat for Humpty Dumpty to use. So let's have a look. I have made my first Humpty Dumpty crash mat out of Play-Doh. Now, we need to now make a prediction. Now, a prediction is a really good guess as to what you think might happen. Do you think Humpty Dumpty is going to break or not break if he lands on my Play-Doh crash mat? What do you think? Point to the answer. Interesting. Okay, so that's crash mat number one. Crash mat number two, I am going to use the material fabric. As you can see, I popped it in a little wooden box. So perhaps I could say I'm using wood and fabric as my materials. So what do you think everyone? Do you think Humpty Dumpty is going to break with my crash mat number two? What do you think? Point to yes or no. Oh, I wonder if you're right. So that's crash mat number two. Crash mat number three, I've decided to use some bubble wrap, which of course is made out of plastic. So I have used plastic as my next material choice for crash mat number three. Now, do you think Humpty Dumpty is going to break or not break? Yes to break or no, not break? Point to your answer now. Okay, I wonder what will happen. So that's crash mat number three. Crash mat number four, I've decided to go for this one, for metal. What do you think? Will my material metal cause Humpty Dumpty to break or not break? What do you think? Yes or no? Hmm. 
there's only one thing left to do, everyone. We need to test the experiment. Crash mat number one. Is your prediction correct? <gasps> did Humpty Dumpty break? No, he did not break. Well done, everyone. Play-Doh crash mat seemed to work. Crash mat number two, <gasps> fabric. Will Humpty Dumpty break or not break? Let's have a look. <gasps> he did not break. Well done, crash mat number two. Crash mat number three. Will Humpty Dumpty break in plastic? No, Humpty Dumpty did not break. And for the final crash mat, crash mat number four, metal. Will Humpty Dumpty break or not break? I wonder what will happen. Humpty Dumpty, d oh no, Humpty Dumpty did indeed break. Well done, mini scientists, if your predictions were correct. And if they weren't correct, that's what science is all about. Experiments and finding out what does and doesn't work. I hope you enjoyed that experiment, everyone. See you next time.